Number six, the angular position of a point on the rim of a rotating wheel is given by theta equals to 4t minus 3t squared plus t to the third, where theta is in radians and t is in seconds. What are the angular velocities at letter A? t equals to 2 seconds, letter B, t equals to 4 seconds, letter C, what is the average angular acceleration for the, for the time interval that begins at t equals to 2 seconds and ends at t equals to 4 seconds? What are the instantaneous angular accelerations at the beginning and at the end of this time interval? Okay, so we have to remember that we can calculate the angular velocity and the angular acceleration from this equation by using that the angular velocity is equal to the derivative of the angular position in function of time and the angular acceleration is equal to the derivative of the angular velocity in respect of time. So the first thing that we have to do is to calculate both equations. So the angular velocity, we just have to take the derivative of this equation over here so it's going to be 4 minus 6t plus 3t squared the angular acceleration will be minus 6 plus 6t so that's the angular acceleration okay so now we can solve the problem we want the angular velocity at t equals to 2 seconds so for letter a you want the omega of 2 and this is equal to 4 minus 6 times 2 plus 3 times 2 squared. So this is equal to 4 minus 12 plus 3, 4, 12. So this is equal to 4 radians per second. So that's the answer of letter A. For letter B, we want the angular velocity at t equals to 4 seconds. So this is going to be 4 minus 6 times 4 plus 3 times 4 squared. And this will give us 28 radians per second. So that's the answer of letter B. For letter C, we want the average angular acceleration. So for letter C, we don't want the instantaneous acceleration, which is given by this equation over here. We, we want the average angular acceleration, which is equal to delta omega over delta t. So all we have to do is take the final angular velocity minus the initial angular velocity and divide it by final t minus the initial t. So this is going to be 28 minus 4 divided by 4 minus 2 and this view gives us 12 radians per second squared. So that's the answer of letter C. For letter D, now we want the instantaneous acceleration, so we have to use this equation here. So the acceleration for t equals to 2 seconds is equal to minus 6 plus 6 times 2 and this gives us 6 radians per second squared so that's the answer of letter D for letter E is almost the same thing so this is going to be minus 6 plus 6 times 4 so this is equal to 18 radians per second squared and that's it.